In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss solving equations with two variables. Let's imagine you have to solve these two equations. When you solve two equations with two variables, what you're doing is figuring out where those two lines cross. Let me show you that right now. Don't try to graph these right now. I'm just going to show you what the graphs would look like. The first graph looked like that, the graph of the first equation. The graph of the second equation will look like that. Where these two lines cross is the solution. So when you solve these equations, what you're doing is finding out where these two lines or two lines cross or intersect. I'm going to use the elimination method on these two equations. I'm going to eliminate the y's. I'm going to work on the bottom equation because it looks a little simpler to work on. So I'll rewrite the top equation again. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 2, the y and the x. To balance the equation, I need to multiply the right-hand side by 2, or 2 times 6. So 2 times y is 2y. 2 times x is, of course, 2x. 2 times 6 is 12. I'm going to subtract the second equation from the first equation. Keep in mind I'm subtracting everything in the second equation. 2y minus 2y is of course 0, or as they say in England, not. Negative 4x minus a plus 2x is negative 4x minus that minus sign right there. 2x, and that is equal to negative 6x. And let me put that right in place, right there. Now, 12 minus 12, 12 minus 12 is 0 or not. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0, right there. So now I have negative 6 times x is equal to 0. And this is the same thing as saying 6 times what is equal to 0. So negative 6 times 0 is equal to 0 because anything times 0 is 0. So x is equal to 0. A lot of zeros. You're probably wondering, but what is y? Let me tell you what y is. Let me show you what y is. I could put 0 in the top equation, right there. So it's 2y minus 4 times 0 is equal to 12. But putting it in the bottom equation is a little easier. So let's get rid of this and the line 2, please. There you go. So if I put it in the bottom equation, right there, I have y. I have y plus 0 is equal to 6, or y is equal to 6. So let me move the x is equal to 0 up and y is equal to 6. Now let's go back to the very beginning. Can you guess what that purple dot is, the coordinates of that? Exactly right, 0, 6. So when we solved for the equation, what we did was determine where these two lines intersected. 